This video was sponsored by the STEM Merch Store. Get the apparel you see in this video, science, toys, wall decorations, and more using the link below. Okay, here we go. All right, number three was an easy one. What's the answer? The Declaration, Declaration of Independence. Is... over the Declaration of Independence. Which class is this? Hey, Professor. Yeah. For number six, how many sig figs did you want? This is what year did the Soviet Union collapse? Yeah. And this is world history. So two. No, two. Okay. Yeah, no, I got you. Damn, say that all. Trying to trick me. It really wasn't. I caught on. I'm too smart for that. Okay, Zach, I had a question regarding your essay on westward expansion. Yeah. Why did you end every line with a semicolon? Because you said we had to write three pages using C in order to pass. And I'm more of a Python fan. I said you had to write three pages to qualify for a C. Four pages for a B and five for an A. So what I'm hearing is I can get a C plus if I write three pages in C plus. You got an F. But what is F? Oh, here we go. If not MA. Right? So if we just try our best to let M equal one, then F equals A, and I actually got an A. That's true. It's simple physics. All right, you guys, so this is British literature from 1830 to 19, who gives a shit? Today we're gonna start with some poetry. God, doesn't that sound terrible? So everybody get out your poems. I'm gonna start reading and we'll stop along the way for some discussion. Sound good? All right, let's begin. The, let's stop there. What do you guys think the author means by this? Ooh, Ooh I, I know. know. What, seriously? All right, what do we have over here? Well, I think the author's really focusing on the individual. The fuck? And the importance of finding oneself as you journey through life. Huh? Ooh, yes, I like that a lot. We got something different here in the back. Well, I think the author's talking about how desire plays a key role in human nature. Who is your weed dealer? Yes, very good. Okay, you know what, let's do one more. How about you trying to hide right here in the middle? What do you got? Gonna be honest, don't really have an answer right now, but give me like an hour of something for you. Take this, and everyone have one. Okay, so this is gonna be the rubric I'll be using to evaluate your final essays. Now, if you look at hey, the um, I don't see it on here, but what is the page or word minimum for this essay? You know, I was thinking of putting a page range on Oh, no, I just need, like, the bare minimum. Smallest number of pages I can write and still pass. Biggest font size, biggest margins. Like, give me some of those, too. But I don't want to accidentally write more than I have to, you know? You know, how about, since this is the final essay, no minimums or maximums. Just write as much as you think is needed to get your point across. Nope, that's not gonna work for me. Cause see, I'll write a sentence, screw it. I'll write a title and say, that's good enough. I mean, your boy Robert Frost, who I gotta say, kinda, kinda overrated, will write like this much and you don't shut up about it. Hey, if you think one sentence is enough, then you think it's enough. No, I see what you're doing and honestly, it's just annoying. Okay, Zach, like I said weeks ago, you can't just watch the movie instead of reading the book and expect to pass this class. Not sure what you're talking about. My favorite part of The Great Gatsby was when that one guy who played Spider-Man was at that super sick party and then we find out that Gatsby is actually Leonardo DiCaprio who then smiles with all the fireworks behind him which was a super memeable moment that helped me boost my karma on Reddit. Straight from the book. <laughs> All right, this next one is a personal favorite of mine. This piece of art dates back to the Renaissance. Isn't that exciting? So rich in not just beauty, but in its history. This drawing represents- Oh my God, I'm so bored. Seriously, if a 9.0 magnitude earthquake with an epicenter of my ass happened right now, it would literally add value to my life. The fact that I haven't jumped out the window should alone win me the Nobel Peace Prize. If stick a fork in your eye 101 was an elective, I'd take it twice before I sat through this class for another eight seconds. And while the drawing is named after Vitruvius, some scholars today question the appropriateness of such a title. That was, that's what Wikipedia says. Hopefully it's true. All right, test is on Monday. So what is consciousness? How do we know we exist? How do we know we're here? 
How do I know this chair is here? Is it really in front of me? Who's to say? Okay, I found the weed dealer. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before you go, if you'd like to get some of the merch you saw on this one, or the floating globe you see behind me, Serpinski Triangle, we even just got stamps. This is a QED stamp uh, and plenty more. Go check out the STEM merch store. Link to that is below. If you'd like to see more skit videos, check out the second channel. Link to that is also below. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video.